Mars and Earth have approximately the same land mass. Even though Mars has only 15% of the Earth's volume and just over 10% of the Earth's mass, around two-thirds of the Earth's surface is covered in water. Martian surface gravity is only 37% of Earth's, meaning you could leap nearly three times higher on Mars. Mars is home to the tallest mountain in the solar system, Olympus Mons, a shield volcano that's 21 kilometers high and 600 kilometers in diameter. Despite having formed over billions of years, evidence from volcanic lava is so recent that many scientists believe it could still be alive. Recent photos captured by the Mars Spirit rover shows what appears to be a bird-like object in the sky of Mars. Skeptics said that perhaps it's something on the lens of the camera, however some believe it could show an animal. The mysterious bird-like creature flying past the sky could be a number of things, and it's difficult to tell how far away from the rover the object is. The object in question does appear to be bird or insect-like, and the object is symmetrical, which some say does away with the theory that it might have been a rock or debris. Some who viewed the image are certain that it proves things are living on Mars. There is a long history of seeing animal shapes on Mars. This may be due to the fact that Mars is so tightly associated with the search for life, and because we just have so many pictures of the surface to dig through. Conspiracy theorists zoomed in in a portion of a panoramic photo taken by NASA's Curiosity rover in September 2012. These viewers spotted an object that looked like a rat lying between two rocks. While it's a creative idea, the Mars rat is unlikely, scientists have said. The red planet has extremely cold temperatures, is baked in radiation and lacks a thick protective atmosphere like Earth's, making it an extremely hostile environment for life. But there are those that believe animals have been taken to Mars for experiments. Another photo is believed to show what some think is a snake descending the rocks. Theorists say the photo is enough evidence to prove there is life on Mars, However, NASA have dismissed the allegations. NASA claims that what people are experiencing is pareidolia. This tricks people into seeing things that aren't actually there. For example, you may see faces in the clouds or in bushes. So what do you guys make of these images? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. An unidentified flying object is any object flying in the sky which cannot be identified by the person who sees it. Most of the time the object is investigated. If people can still not figure out what the object is after an investigation, it's called a UFO. Studies estimate that 45-85% to of all reported UFO sightings are identified later. Usually 10-20% to are never identified. Studies also show that very few UFO sightings are hoaxes. Most UFOs are actually natural or man-made objects that look strange. For example, astronomical causes, aircrafts, weather balloons or animals such as birds. The first well-known UFO sighting occurred in 1947, when businessman Kenneth Arnold claimed to have seen a group of nine high-speed objects near Mount Rainier in Washington. This happened while he was flying his small plane. Arnold estimated the speed of the objects as several thousand miles per hour, and said they moved like saucers skipping on water. In the newspaper report that followed, it was mistakenly stated that the objects were saucer-shaped, hence the term flying saucer. Thousands of pictures and videos of UFOs are taken every year, and enthusiasts believe many of them could be proof of otherworldly beings. While some have been debunked as fake, there are still dozens that have even left the experts scratching their heads. These orange glowing UFOs were seen coming out of the ocean, and when they reached a few hundred meters in the sky they began to pulsate. This is not the first time these objects have been seen above Vero Beach. Back in January 2015, the objects were also seen. One eyewitness said the following, These objects appeared over the ocean and hovered for approximately three to four minutes, there were two crafts that then disappeared after filming stopped. We live in Vero Beach, Florida, approximately 60 miles south of the Cape Canaveral launch site. When me and my wife observed the light, she then grabbed her HD camera and started taking pictures. Both yesterday before the sighting and today after the sighting, military helicopters were spotted several times going up and down the beach. 
this bright disc UFO was witnessed in the sky near two passenger jets over Germany. The unidentified craft could be seen emitting a bright red colour. The eyewitnesses was able to snap some pictures of the craft. Another eyewitness captured this black UFO. They stated the following. While attending the contact in the desert event I left around 6.15pm to get some dinner. I ordered my food and paid the woman at the window. As she handed me my change I noticed this dark object in the sky. Watching for only a moment I could tell that it wasn't a kind of bird or aircraft that I'm familiar with. So I grabbed my cell phone and immediately started filming. I zoomed in to catch the object on film. I have no idea what the object was. It was silent and had no marks and didn't look like a commercial airliner. So what do you think these glowing objects are? Let me know your theories in the comments. Below the turquoise waters of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula lies the site of a long ago mass extinction event. In a geologic instant most of the world's animals and plant species went extinct. Drilling through hundreds of meters of rock, investigators have finally reached the footprint left by the accused. That footprint marks Earth's most notorious space rock impact. Scientists are assembling the most detailed timeline yet of the dino apocalypse. They are giving fresh scrutiny to telltale footprints left by the fateful events so long ago. At the impact site an asteroid crashed onto Earth's surface. Mountains formed in mere minutes. In North America a towering tsunami buried plants and animals alike under thick piles of rubble. Lofted debris darkened skies around the world. The planet chilled and stayed that way for years, and 70% of life on Earth perished. Researchers have found a dinosaur rib bone with preserved proteins on it. The proteins were found inside the vascular canals of the rib of a 195 million year old dinosaur, where blood vessels and nerves would have been present if it were living. Most fossils turn bones into rock, decomposing all organic matter, but this fossil had preserved proteins on it, which could help researchers learn more about dinosaur biology than most fossils could. The incredible finding extends the record of protein preservation by over 100 million years from previous studies. The research published in the journal Natural Communications found that the bone belonged to a dinosaur called Lefungosaurus. Lefungosaurus was a close relative of Plateosaurus. It was about the same size but it lived earlier. There are many fossils of this dinosaur from the Lefung Basin in southwestern China. It's one of several prosauropods known from the early Jurassic Lufeng Formation along with some early crocodiles and mammals. Although there are complete skeletons of this dinosaur, it's not fully described. The skull of Lefungosaurus was long and flat, and it had a small bump on its snout just above the nostril. Its teeth were blade-like with crowns that were wider at the bottom. The teeth were widely spaced. Its diet is unknown. Although it probably ate plants with teeth serrations, it may have also have eaten small animals. The research led by Dr. Rees, a paleontologist at the University of Toronto, found two proteins in the rib. The first was collagen, a structural protein found in the skin and connective tissues of all animals. The second was hematite, which probably came from the blood of the dinosaur. The researchers said the hematite played a crucial role in preserving the collagen, and may have come from hemoglobin from the dinosaur's blood. To find out what was in the bones, the team of researchers used a lab technique called Synchrotron. It uses magnets to cause particles to accelerate 400 feet around a many-sided shape. When the particles race, they emit light particles called photons. When the photons hit the bone, the researchers can determine what type of particles are inside it based on the way they absorb light. The team was so strict in preventing contamination, they accidentally washed away some of the proteins while cleaning the sample and only realised when they switched from cleaning it with water to using alcohol. Nibiru believers are convinced the rogue system is making its way from the outer solar system inwards, where it will wreak havoc on Earth as it passes at about 4 million miles away. They say the planet will cause the poles to switch, sparking great earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. But a series of false arrival dates have come and gone, with conspiracy theorists claiming it will be later this year. Now photos and videos have surfaced online that some claim could show the mythical planetary system appearing behind the sun. 
In the clip, the narrator explains how he used a drone fitted with a polarized lens to uncover the phenomenon. The camera pans around and we see the sun glowing bright in the distance, but as the filter darkens, two objects appear alongside. The man claims one of them is apparently Nibiru and it's getting closer, alongside another planet from the legendary mini star system. Many don't believe the planet exists and state it's just another conspiracy theory. Predictions have been made for when this planet is meant to collide with the Earth, but it never seems to happen. NASA has also said this about the planet. The story started with claims that Nibiru, a supposed planet discovered by the Sumerians, is headed towards Earth. This catastrophe was initially predicted for May 2003, but when nothing happened the doomsday date was moved forward to December 2012, and linked to the end of one of the cycles in the ancient main calendar at the winter solstice in 2012. Hence the predicted doomsday date of December the 21st, 2012. There are no planetary alignments in the next few decades, and even if these alignments were to occur, their effects on the Earth would be insignificant. For example, one major alignment occurred in 1962, and two others happened during 1982 and 2000. Each December, the Earth and the Sun align with the approximate center of the Milky Way galaxy, but that's an annual event with no consequence. Nibiru and other stories about wayward planets are an internet hoax. There is no factual basis for these claims. If Nibiru or Planet X were real and headed for an encounter with the Earth in 2012, astronomers would have been tracking it for at least the past decade, and it would have been visible by now to the naked eye. Obviously, it does not exist. Eris is real, but it's a dwarf planet similar to Pluto that remains in the outer solar system. The closest it can come to Earth is about 4 billion miles. Once again, theories have claimed this planet will show itself later this year. But what do you guys think? Is Planet X real or just another conspiracy theory? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Humans have been fascinated with alien life for years. Something inside of us wants us to believe they're real, but where's the proof? Many people point to the thousands of photos and videos that have been captured over the years. A subscriber sent me these photos along with this message. I took these photos around four years ago when we had heavy snowfall. I live in the south suburbs of Chicago and many people have seen UFOs flying around here. I've also witnessed UFOs. I lived in Mexico when I was 15 for a year, and I witnessed three shimmering UFOs during the daytime land. It was amazing, but I was scared to go up to them. But one morning I was heading to work and I noticed this in my yard. These marks were about halfway into my yard. There was nothing there besides a really small three-year-old tree, so nothing was hanging above them to fall to make these marks. Also, there was no footprint, so I don't think it was a hoax. The only footprints were mine when I walked up close to them to take their pictures. I was amazed when I saw it. My mother was with me at the time because we worked at the same place so she also witnessed it. They were beautiful and looked very well done. When I got home from work later, the marks were gone. I hope someone can help me find out what they mean. I think they look interesting, but I'm curious to know what you think they are. Let me know your theories in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.